Um, if you're interested, there is a link in the description for my Etsy shop where you can purchase original paintings and also a link for my coffee or Kofi page where you can donate whatever sum of money you feel. If you enjoy my art or if you want to support like my channel, then you can click that too. This video is going to be talking about like the topic that has been in the back of my mind that I didn't really want to address, but it's sort of like I have to address it because it is something that I think about every time I make a video or every time I check like the views on my videos. And it sounds really stupid. I've said to my sister and she thinks it's very weird as well, but like I don't ever think about people actually watching my videos or like that people actually watch them, like them and or enjoy anything from them. So that's weird, right? Because like the whole point of YouTube is like people are going to watch it. But I don't think that they will, and I guess this is sort of like what it's done to my mental health. Um, I started this channel initially, I posted a lot of different things to this channel since the duration, but like, this rebrand, Discard by Illusion, started in January? I'm not really sure. I think it was January, because that's when I think I filmed my first channel introduction video that I took down because I read it. Um, I was seeing the therapist that I referenced within this, like, mental health series, uh, official series, and I kind of just started it as, like, a last ho hope or, like, last resort sort of thing because I was unhappy with my life at the time such as like being in college i've never had any desire to go to college but with the onset of my diabetes and i guess like the conflict of like my mental health issues and stuff i just felt like it was the right thing to do but i'm not really sure that it was so the channel was going to be like proof that I had tried to like do art and be an artist, live up the art life, but I was super re like I don't, reluctant, hesitant, I don't know, I had like a lot of reservations about it. It's still really like, but like come up a lot in my head. Um, like I get really anxious. Sometimes, and like I said, I have um, generalized anxiety and panic disorder, but it's just like, I don't know, like the thought of like engagement and people actually responding to my stuff really, I don't know the correct word for it. And that's another thing, like these videos actually help me kind of like with the paintings to like process things. It takes me a very long time to process I wouldn't particularly say like emotion, but sometimes just like, just overall like feeling. I do believe I have a disassociation issue. Uh, so I think that's another faucet of that. Layers, onions. But, um, I, I don't know, like I appreciate, I guess, if anybody watches these videos. At the moment, most of them are sitting at like, between one and six views so it's kind of premature but it's something that really bothers me so i kind of wanted to make a video i don't know that this has any point to it other than me wanting to bring it up that i am self-conscious of these and i'm worried about people watching them and what they will perceive of them and and that's it's more me not so much my art because i don't i don't really i don't know i don't expect people to connect to my art i don't think people connect to my art in the way that i want them to but there's nothing i can do about that that's part of art life i guess it's like there's a good chance people will just look at this and be like oh 
all right, you know, cool, dope, you know, that's all my Instagram comments were, so, this might come off as very pessimistic, now that I have come to the end of that sort of rant, vent, anyway, if you like this video, or kind of get what the struggle is that I have, feel free to thumbs up and or subscribe. And I uh, hope I didn't bring you down in any way if you listened.